Hi guys, it's Sean at ESC United, back again, uh, your favourite Eurovision channel, of course, and uh, today I'm very excited because I get to react again, and this time it's ESCZ. That's right, the Czech Republic's national final is back. I am very excited because it's been one of my favourite national finals over previous years. We have seven acts, and uh, without further ado, we need to start digging into these and see what quality songs the Czech Republic have got for us this year. Now, just quickly about these seven acts, we've got We Are Domi, Judy, I believe, Annabelle, Ellis Mraz, The Valentines, Jordan Harge and Emma Smetana, and Skywalker. Now, the only name that I recognise here is Ellis Mraz, who was in a few years ago, I believe. Um, I think it was quite an R&B sound last time, so I'm expecting more of the same. Um, I am a bit disappointed because I really wanted to see Barbara Mochoa back. Um, I'm probably butchering these names, sorry. But... Uh, we shall see what these seven acts have got in store. I know the Czech Republic have been trying really hard at Eurovision the last few years, so I'm expecting some quality. So let's dive in and see what we've got. First up, we are Domi. Let's see what we've got with this one. I'm already intrigued. Oh, I immediately like the vibe of this one. I like the live performance. Is this is this what they've got for every song? This is very moody. In a good way. I'm really into this already. Oh my god, it's changed up. Yeah. Oh yeah. I'm sold, I'm sold. Really modern sounding vibes, this. Wow, great voice, great mix of instruments, really good production. Yeah, I'm into this. I, it, it didn't take long for this one to settle with me at all. This is, this is right on my street. I like the violin guitar, that's new. I'm vibing to this. Feels very similar to a lot of like the UK house that's around at the minute. I'm thinking like Medusa, that kind of production. Interesting mix though. I'm not sure about the lyrics, they're a little bit repetitive, but in music like this, it doesn't make a difference really. I'm really enjoying this though. And she's got charisma as well. Oh, I like that bit. This, it's really well put together. It's it's really well thought out. This song. This could go big with an audience. Could do with a bit of beefing up in my eyes, but I'm I'm happy with this. It's a really good performance. Yes, one out of one. Really good song. Let's hope they're all like that. Okay, next up we've got Judy. Uh, I'm sorry if that's the wrong pronunciation, but I'm British, I butcher languages all the time. Uh, let's see what we've got here. Hopefully we can make it two for two. Jazinki. Is this in Czech? Ooh. Wow. It's atmospheric, immediately. See, 
See, I like this this year because you seem like you've actually got an idea of how they want to stage this. Last year it was the music videos, you, you weren't too sure and then it just didn't translate. The year before, I should say. I think this could benefit from the backing vocals role this year. Oh my god, those eyes. I know I don't speak for everyone, but I do, I want a hook in this at some point. She's got a great voice. She really has, but I, I'm, I'm hoping the song picks up soon because it's not really grabbing me too much at the minute. Very sort of folk electronica. It's definitely interesting. I know some people are going to go absolutely ballistic for this one. It's, it's, it appeals to a certain demographic, I get that. I think it's really for me, I'm going to be honest, but I appreciate the musicality. I appreciate the, the atmosphere this creates. This could be a real moment on stage and I think that's, that's what they've got to play on here. To get this right with the big production, it could be amazing. I could change my mind entirely. But well, first reaction. Well, there we go. Okay, so the next one, Annabelle. We're running out of freaking time. Um, this could be, I don't know, punky, rocky. I've got no idea. I, I hope it's something in your face and brash. So let's see what we've got here. Oh, it's, a, it's a good selection so far. Okay, next, the returnee, Ellis Mraz. Uh, she had a decent song a few years ago, so I'm hoping for something even better now, but let's see. I'm a bee. Back to the live performances. Oh, I wasn't expecting rock. Might not be rock yet. No, it's not going to be rock, is it? <laughs> oh my god, what is this? Okay, so yeah, it's R&B. Oh, you fooled me then, you fooled me. It's like... It's like reggaeton and Nicki Minaj and a bit of, I think there are going to be rocky elements. It's, it's a lot mixed in here already. It's, it's catchy. I feel like it's going to be catchy. This is going to be one of them that gets stuck in my head for a long time after I've seen these, and that's going to annoy me, I think. But it was stand out this year, that's for definite. It was chosen. She's very confident, and that's, that's good. She's got the stage presence and not every act in, in this national final I feel is going to have the same stage presence, so that might help her. In terms of the song itself, it's not really my thing, so it's it's not grabbing me, it's, it's not going to be like sort of something that I 
would expect to like. But it's not bad in its style. I feel like people are going to lap this up though, Eurovision fans. I feel like it's going to have its fans, definitely. I was hoping it'd be more rocky, I thought there'd be more elements to that rather than the intro, so that's a shame, but we're going to get enough rock this year as it is. Might not be a bad thing. Kind of runs out of steam. I feel like it's done everything it needed to by now. Could do have been a little bit shorter for me, but that's that's me being picky. All right, standard high. Song number five, The Valentines, Stay or Go. Uh, it looks already like this is going to be a band, so let's see if this is probably I don't know indie pop. Potentially, could be like um, was it We All Poop <laughs> a few years back. Let's see. Okay, it's very 80s. It's like the second coming of Lake Malawi already. I have got a soft spot for this sort of retro indie. It's quite like um, 1975 as well, that's the vibe I'm getting. Very danceable, very catchy. And they've got a good stage presence, normally um, a lot of bands do, in fairness. Don't think it's one for a competition really. Unfortunately, but I, I appreciate what they're trying to do here, and I feel like this is something that I could listen to outside of the contest, so no complaints here from me. Could be a bit punchier. I'm just sat here vibing, I'm sorry. I don't I don't think this is gonna have a chance of winning this this final, but I'm, I'm glad it's here. It's gonna have its fans for definite. And I'm not really saying much now, but I, there's not really much more for me to add. It's, it's a nice song, pleasant, vibey, but sort of you know again, you know what you've got after a few minutes here. But I like it. That's a nice ending. Nice shot. That's my that's my catchphrase, I think. Number six, Jordan and Emma. Uh, Jordan Harge and Emma Spatana. Um, duets, I'm guessing. I don't know what to expect here, so let's see. The hurry, the money, my mother, your mother. What are these lyrics?
I have no idea what to make of this right now. It's got some interesting elements, but I don't know if this all fits together. It's a bit unusual. I like it. I like the voices together. I like the chorus. Chorus is yeah, chorus is good, but I just I can't I can't work out what they did to get there. French. French. I'm suffocating, I can't breathe at all. It's it's pleasant. It there's a lot of elements that are good here, but it it just doesn't like if this was at Eurovision, I wouldn't pick up the phone and vote for it, and that's the problem. I'd be happy to sort of listen to this, but it's not really grabbing me, and it's it's not. I feel like this is just not gonna click with a lot of people immediately. They've got good connection with the camera though, I will give them that. And charisma with each other, which is, is difficult a lot of the time with duets. It's going to take a few listens to get this one, I think, for me. There's something there, but I can't quite eke out like what, what they're trying to do. It's, it's good. It's good. Okay, last act, Skywalker and Way Down. Let's see what we've got here. Is this another band? Okay. It's a lot of 80s influence this time. Oh, it's rock. Okay. I wondered when the rock band was going to come in. <laughs> Immediately, it sounds like Blink-182. I don't know if that's what they're going for or if that's what everyone's saying. It's very, um, very pop punk. Some forty one, Blink one eight two. It's very American, sort of skater punk. And I never thought I'd see that in a, a Eurovision national final. So yeah. I'm really liking this. I feel like it could rub people up the wrong way, certain people, but uh, I'm all for diversity, so I'm happy this is here. Wish it was a bit meatier when it gets to the, the riffs. Yeah, if you guys are watching this, I'm I'm down for this, but I, I I would like it to be a little bit heavier. But that's just me. Definitely one of the more interesting songs in this national file for me. Anyway, oh here we go. 
breakdown. Yes. More of that. There needs to be more of that throughout the song because that that's great. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Second half of this song is massively improved. I, I'm down for this. There's a lot of elements of um, pop punk metal, hardcore in here, post hardcore. It needs some work. It needs a bit of a revamp, but there's a there's a lot that I'm happy with here. So. selection this is interesting okay so some final thoughts from me um, on that selection once again uh, Czech Republic I think you, you can be happy you've got a really strong selection there um, maybe not as strong as in previous years I do have to say but the, the quality previously was incredible so it, it's hard to live up to that every year I guess um, for me Skywalker hands down my favorite I know it's not gonna be everyone's favorite because it's, it's just not everyone's bag but um, for me, that's the song I would pick. I, I know it's not going to be everyone's favourite and I wouldn't expect it to be. Um, Annabelle is probably going to be people's overall choice, I would have thought. Um, it's a really strong production on that song. It's the, got the right kind of vibe, I think. And um, yeah, I could really see that one working. Judy, or, or Judy, or however you pronounce that. I, I do apologise um, if she's watching, but... That's, that was a really atmospheric song that I think could could hit a lot of the right buttons for people. So maybe that's up there as well. But it's a tough one to call. I don't know which one's going to win. I think the important thing with this is that each song's got its own merits. And there's definitely a lot to be working on there for the, the Czech Republic. So whichever song wins, uh, I'm sure there's a lot that can be done to uh, really boost it and make it strong for the Eurovision stage. Again, personally... I'm going to nail my colours to the Master Skywalker. I think that is the, the best of the seven for me. Um, but it's, you know, it's an opinions game and everyone's different. And obviously now you can go and vote. Um, Czech people can vote. International people can vote, I believe. And uh, we're going to know which of these seven is the, the Czech entry next week. So, um, yeah, let me know what you thought. Um, I'd, I'd be interested to see how people actually react to these because I've not seen any reactions from anyone else. I don't know how people feel about these songs. So, yeah, let me know in the comments. Um, please like and subscribe if you like this. Uh, I'm hoping to do more of these types of videos. And, uh, yeah, any any support or feedback would be much appreciated. And, of, uh, of course, uh, you know, keep it with us at ESC United. And, uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll be back soon with more videos, and I hope to see you there.